Thanks for coming back. In this segment, we're going to teach you how to set up what I call a reference palette. Now, when you first installed the machine, we made sure that the shaft was plumb. And because the shaft is plumb and all of the linear rails are perfectly in parallel with each other, we can actually set the reference pallet in the down position. You'll notice I put an adjustable carpenter square here. On the Mustang you have four points of adjusting. On some machines you only have three. But needless to say, you'll have to get the pallet in plane. And the way to do this is to set the adjustable carpenter square on the pallet, measuring to the linear rail. And if you do that in two positions along the linear rail, using all four corners of the pallet, it assures you that this surface is completely in plane so that we can move it from side to side all the way around, set our adjustable carpenter square, and it slips comfortably under the linear rail. And you can do that in the front, toward the back, and on both sides. And that's the critical part if you want to get everything in line. Now that we've established a reference pallet, we actually raise it up into the head. And then we're going to use a simple business card and we're going to use a flood bar. And with the flood bar, we're going to establish a linear plane in regard to the pallet. So what we can do is lower the flood bar down. And what the flood bar does is it basically simulates, because it's in the position of the squeegee, it simulates what the squeegee is doing as it travels across the pallet. And we want to adjust the pallet to where the business card just barely slips under the flood bar. Okay? And I've set up a light behind this that we'll demonstrate in the next segment to show the gap under the pallet. So a simple business card gives you a reference. Now we bring the head to the front and we lower the squeegee down and the same thing, basically just barely slipping the business card underneath. That means the thickness of a business card or less, the squeegee will travel across the pallet. And if we can adjust all of our pallets that way, we can get superior dot placement when we print. But one of the things you have to keep considering is that the pallet, because of flashing and heat, it actually starts to twist over time, kind of like a potato chip. So it's really an interpretation. So as you're moving this across, you're looking for any imperfections, twisting of the pallet, and the older the pallets get, at some point you'll need to consider replacing the really bad ones. I've installed a light behind the flood bar and you can actually see the light coming through. So if we move the head forward, you can actually see where the light is passing underneath the flood bar. And that light passing through is just about the thickness of the business card. Now that we've leveled all of the pallets, what I'm going to show you next is how to set your off contact.